I'm going to show you how to create an AI avatar that dominates on social media. This is especially useful for you if you hate being on camera, you hate the tedious process of filming and editing, or like me, if you got really sick and lost your voice the past week, your AI avatar is a lifesaver to continue producing high quality content. And just to show you proof that this can work, okay, I spent the past week testing my AI avatar for real on my TikTok Reels and Shorts accounts. So I'm pulling up my TikTok. TikTok here. This is the very first video with my AI avatar last weekend, 60,000 views. Another one, 60,000, over 100,000, just about to break 100,000, uh, 50,000 here, another 100,000 video here, 80,000 here. This is not even 12 hours old, so this will break 100,000 as well. Now let's look over at Instagram, 50,000 from this video, not even 12 hours old, 20,000, 23, 25, 34, 21, 70, 2000 some solid ones here right around 20 20 20 20 and here again was the very first video with my AI avatar I posted last weekend, 40,000 views. So this is proof that it works. Even though none of these videos hit multiple million views, I'm in the AI niche. So that's not super common anyway. I consider over 100,000 views like really great performance. And the fact that I had multiple videos with my AI avatar, 100% AI generated with over 100,000 views, I mean, that's incredible performance. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this too. And like I said, I decided to experiment with my AI avatar this past week because I could feel myself starting to get sick and then I lost my voice in the middle of the week. So it ended up being an awesome exercise and lifesaver for me as a content creator. Okay, so for my AI avatar, I use a platform called HeyGen. There are many more avatar platforms out there, but I think HeyGen is easy to use if you're just getting started. The creator plan, 29 bucks per month, you can create unlimited avatar videos. The only drawback with this plan is you're not going to be able to make avatar videos with the green screen effects replacing the background behind your avatar, but that's okay. So for example, this video just about to hit 100,000. This is my AI avatar without a green screen background. This is just my backyard. And you can see this video did just fine. You don't necessarily need to have a green screen background. Okay, so once you sign up for the plan, you'll enter the app. It looks like this. And I'll just show you around real quick. Home is where you'll have all of your creations. You can organize them into projects here. You can create different templates like this. If you click avatars, this will show you a bunch of pre-built avatars you can play around with first. But I highly recommend creating your own avatar because a lot of these pre-built ones are overly used by many companies. So let's just start by creating our avatar. So click create new avatar. Click hyper realistic avatar. You want to choose still instead of motion. Let's talk about how to create this avatar footage and best practices and tips. So I just use my iPhone front camera to record the footage. I record five minutes of continuous footage staring directly at the camera minimizing movements and gestures and like weird body quirks. Like you want to stay as still as possible, staring straight at the camera. And in terms of your voice, you almost want to exaggerate your intonation a little bit because the Heijin avatar voice doesn't have like as many inflections up and down, which is why it sometimes sounds robotic. So you almost want to exaggerate how you're talking a little. And yeah, you want to be in a well-lit environment. I always suggest folks film outside because natural lighting gives you like $10,000 worth of lighting equipment. Just make sure the sun isn't too harsh on your face. If it's pretty harsh, just sit under the shade. You'll still get that nice natural light look, but you won't have like a harsh glare on your face. Make sure it's five minutes of continuous footage. If you stitch up footage and paste it together, HeyGen will reject your video. Once you upload it here, you're going to have to give your consent to HeyGen. And basically that is just you turning on your camera and then reading a consent statement, and then it will create your avatar. So let's take a look at the avatars I've created. You can see these three here have background. So this is my backyard. This is in my living room. And then this is the version of the avatar without a background so that you can put a green screen on. So I'll cover that last. It does cost more. You have to be on the higher plan, but you can do cool things like switch out the background behind you. So for example, here in this video, switched out the background, put a screenshot of a Reddit post behind my avatar, just to have a, a little something visually engaging for the video. Let's click on this first avatar. So when your avatar is done, you can click edit look 
And I don't usually change too much here. What you can do here though is preview your voice, listen to the sound, stuff like that. And this is my other one. This one is inside and you can see like the lighting isn't as good as my other footage because I'm indoors. So it really makes a big difference if you can get natural sunlight. Okay. And then in order to make an avatar like this one, where you can put an image or video playing behind you, you'll need to first create your normal avatar video as usual, then click edit look, and then you're going to click this background removal. Okay. And then it's going to remove the background from your avatar. Again, this is uh, on a higher tier plan. I forget the exact price, but it's the next level up. So click that, click save as new, and then you'll have the version of your avatar with the background and then the version of your avatar without the background. So this is my avatar without the background and I named it this way. So it's easy for me to reference. So now let's create a video with our avatar. So click here, create video, avatar video. Let's just say we want to start from scratch. Okay, so create portrait video. This is a video editor built in Remotion. And the first thing you're going to want to do is choose which avatar you want to use. If you want to use the one with a background, that's fine. All you have to do is click on this. But let's say you want to use the one without a background and you want to put some images behind it. Okay, so here's that. Here's the scripts. Okay, click play to actually get the audio clip. And this will also give you the exact duration for your video. Then click the three buttons here if you want to adjust the voice. So these parameters, stability, clarity, similarity, and style exaggeration are usually the ones I play with. Uh, most of my videos, I also set speed to 1.1x. My default is I just actually set all of these to 100%, but you can get some pretty interesting results with a lower value of stability. So it'll like have interesting inflection while you're speaking like the lower this value is, but it can be unpredictable sometimes. So you might have to regenerate the voice several times until you get uh, a nice sounding voice you like. Okay, so now we have our avatar video, we have the voice, we have the script, and now let's say you wanna put a background behind your avatar. So click asset here, click upload assets. You can upload different pictures here. I'm just gonna use the one I already have. So this is from the video that I just showed you guys. You can either click set as background, but it might crop it a little bit weird. Yeah, so, so here the text is cut off. So I'm just going to expand it, you know, so you can see it. And then click set layer, send to back. So it's behind my avatar for the background. I try to match the background with whatever photo I have, right? So if it's black, then I'll try to match it black. And then that's pretty much it. This is our video. So press play to preview the whole thing. And then a couple other things I'll point out. So often I'll shrink my avatar for social media and put myself in a corner like this. That way there's enough space for people to read what's going on behind me. And then if you want to have multiple images behind your avatar or a video playing behind your avatar, click timeline here to expand the timeline track. Here is the background image. Okay, and let's say you want to uh, have a second image. Okay, so here, this is your second image. And then go ahead and expand this just like we did before. Send to back, layer, send to back. Okay, something like this. Okay, so now if you play the entire video, and that's pretty much it. When you're ready to go, title your video here, then click submit. Okay, I usually put my videos in a separate folder so I know like which platform they're for. Then upload it to TikTok, Instagram, or whatever social media platform you're on. Here's exactly how that looks in practice. So this video, not even one day old, over 100,000 views, just screenshots of the Reddit thread behind me. So I think it's three different screenshots. My avatar is just talking through it. And then here, so that's the third screenshot. So just a couple other things I'll point out over here. I'll just label this test. Okay. And then once it's done rendering, you can go ahead and download it. And yeah, if you want to integrate your 11 labs voice, just go to AI voice over here, integrate third party voice, and then drop in your 11 labs API key. And then your voice will be available here. Just make sure you select your 11 labs voice when you select uh, your avatar to use. And if you're interested in how to automate or semi automate this process, I have tutorials on YouTube as well. This is my latest one for N8N and you can download the template completely for free. It's in the video link description here. This N8N AI agent avatar will automate your social media. So this, for example, looks at trending news on Hacker News, writes a uh, avatar script, writes a video caption, and then adds a video background behind the avatar and then publishes it to seven different social platforms. If you are interested in automation, definitely check this out. But just keep in mind, HeyGen's pricing is different for the API. So you need to pay for 
it's normal web app pricing here that we talked about. And then you need to also pay for their API pricing, which starts at 100 bucks per month. So just keep that in mind if you're going the automation route. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. Look forward to hearing from you.